All right, guys, just quick little rundown of the future blinds. I figured the most important part was just showing how well they black out the sun. My only real gripe is they could have been a little wider that you kind of cut to length, especially for almost $200. Aside from that, these things are great. I don't think I'll have to worry about the battery dying anytime soon. And as you can see, they flow real smooth and they're not too noisy. These things are super simple to integrate into Home Assistant. Um, if you watched my Zigbee integration video and you have the USB dongle and you have it all set up nice, it's the same exact process. Uh, we're going to go over to configuration, integrations, Zigbee, configure, and then go ahead and add. And when you got the, when you got the search popping up, you're going to hit these two buttons that control the blinds. You're going to hold them for a few seconds until it starts spazzing out. It's going to start rolling up your blinds and flashing and it'll pop up. Not right away, but it'll take five or six seconds. And as soon as you do that, you got yourself a nice little control here. The only thing that might happen is when you initially put it on your uh, Lovelace UI, I didn't have the up button working. So play with it and then go to your buttons again that you use to pair it and hit whichever one's blacked out. If the up button's blacked out, hit the up. And for some reason, it'll just recognize it after that. Anyway, simple, short video. Uh, hopefully, if you're on the fence about the Fjordir blinds, which I was, and I just took a dive, hopefully it helped. Um, they're great. It's a good sign of things that come. So, as always, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys need, what you guys want. And I'll see you in the next video.